despite a rare May rainstorm, crews from the California Geological Survey were in the back parking lot at Cal OES headquarters. Installing the latest tool in California's robust earthquake early warning system. Our goal with building out the California Earthquake Early Warning System uh, network is to build a, a network of sensors that total 1,115 sensors. While these seismic stations vary from location to location, they all perform the same primary functions. They register the movement of the Earth 24-7. If and when an earthquake happens, these stations will be the first to know. Scientists have come up with an estimate that we have a 99% chance of having a magnitude 6.7 earthquake somewhere in the state in the next 30 years. This latest seismic station here at Cal OES is closest to the Hayward Fault. I'd say we're about 70 or 80 miles away from, from Oakland. Um, so in this case, assuming that uh, the shaking is continuing to head towards Sacramento, we'd feel some level of shaking. You could have up to a minute of warning in this situation. We want everybody to be prepared. We want you to practice those protective actions. And, um, you know, we'll continue here at Cal OES investing in this earthquake early warning system so we can give everybody a chance to protect themselves and their family. For more information on California's earthquake early warning system or for earthquake preparedness tips, you can visit the earthquake page on our website, caloes.ca.gov. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.